Hey guys, this is PatientBeyond.com and this is the Asus Pro Art Studio Book 16 H5600 QR, aka the Studio Book 16 OLED. Now, this is a proper high end feature packed laptop aimed at creators, and I've been wanting to try this out ever since it was announced because three things. First, the 4K OLED panel. Second, this. And third, the specs, which by the way are really, really good. Now, we have been testing out this laptop, and I think the StudioBook 16 OLED is worth all of the hype it's been getting. Now, first of all, I personally think the StudioBook 16 OLED is one classy looking laptop with its matte black square edge design and the minimal Pro Art logo. I mean, here's the laptop from all the angles, and I like how elegant and stealthy this looks. In fact, this is military grade certified for durability. And here's the bottom of the laptop, which has these rubber linings, the studio book text, and the vents. Now, the ports are important to creators, and the studio book has two USB C 3.2 Gen 2 ports, with one of them supporting power delivery, as well as DisplayPort, two USB A 3.2 Gen 2 ports, an HDMI 2.1 for high end TVs and monitors, a 3.5 mm jack, an Ethernet port, a Kensington lock slot and an SD card slot, which is not your usual SD card slot. It is the cutting edge SD Express 7.0 slot, which supports speeds up to 985 MB per second with compatible cards. Now, I know most cameras still don't come with SD Express cards yet, but yeah, this is good future proofing. Anyway, one thing to note, the StudioBook 16 has this sort of cut in between, which features LED indicators. And this also helps open up the lid with one hand easily. Now, opening the lid brings me to the stunning 16-inch OLED panel. This is a sharp 4K OLED 10-bit display with the 60Hz refresh rate, 60 to 10 aspect ratio, a great contrast ratio we expect with OLEDs, amazing color accuracy with 100% DCI-P3, 97% Adobe RGB, and certifications from Pantone and Calman. Plus, this is a VESA certified display with HDR True Black 500 and yeah, 550 nits of peak brightness. So yeah, this display is actually packed and it's stunning in person. It's very sharp, very vibrant, and I love the OLED blacks on this big screen. It's also pretty bright given that OLEDs are generally a little dim, and I like the fact that you can always amp up the brightness even more with the display set to HDR mode. Now this is a glossy screen, so it can get a little reflective, but it's not as glossy as some of the other screens that I've used, so I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, from a creator's point of view, this is a screen that makes a lot of sense for color correction, be it in photos or footage. I mean, it is incredibly accurate. Now, right apart though, the screen is awesome for entertainment purposes as well. I mean, the new Spider-Man trailer looks awesome on the screen. I can even see the other Spider-Men, if you know what I mean. Now, above the screen is a 720p IR webcam with Windows Hello support. And I like the webcam shutter that's part of the design. Now, moving below the screen, you get the ASUS logo, the power button with a fingerprint scanner in it, the keyboard, which is a backlit chiclet keyboard with numpad, 1.5 millimeters of key travel, two customizable keys, and the best thing, the textured arrow key. It's awesome and the keyboard is great, but what's even better is just below the keyboard. I'm talking about this, the dial, it's called the ASUS dial, and this is another big highlight of the StudioBook 60. So here's how it works. Pressing or rotating the dial brings this on the screen. As you can see, I can use the dial to change the brightness, volume, scroll with it, etc. Now I can rotate the dial and press it to select a function, say volume, and then I can rotate the wheel to change it like this. You can also go back and forward by clicking on the left and the right edges of the dial. Yeah, it's cool. And I love the feedback that you get with the dial, especially with the textured edge. So yeah, that's how the dial works. And I know it might seem a little gimmicky, but it's actually not. I think this can be pretty useful for creators. Right now it supports four Adobe apps, including Photoshop, Lightroom, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. And there's so many things you can control with the dial in these apps. For example, in Premiere Pro, you can zoom in and zoom out of the timeline with the dial like this. You can also go back or forward 30 frames in the video. Now to give you another example, in Photoshop, you can change the brush size, the hardness, flow, etc. You can even change the eraser size and you can also zoom in and zoom out of the layer. Now, these are just examples, but there's a lot you can do. And once you get the hang of it, it can actually be useful. I mean, here's the Pro Creator Hub app and here's the ASUS dial section. And here are all the functions available for say Lightroom. Yeah, you can set it to whatever you use a lot. Plus I like that you can create custom functions and ASUS has confirmed that support for non-Adobe apps will be coming in the future as ASUS partners with more companies and Microsoft fixes the dial functionality in Windows 11. So the dial is a good addition on the studio book and next to it is this big, smooth and responsive trackpad with not your usual two keys. There are three keys, which does remind me of older PC mice. 
Now the left and right keys are usual and the center key is for panning, rotating, or it can be used as an orbit button in 3D workflows, CAD software, you get the idea. Also this trackpad supports styluses, so you can draw things, annotate, etc. Moving on to the hardware now, the Studiobook 16 OLED comes with some pretty good specs. Now the top variant we have has the 8 core 16 thread Ryzen 9 5900HX at 3.3 GHz with boost up to 4.6 GHz and a TDP of 45 watts. On the GPU front, it has the RTX 3070 laptop GPU with NVIDIA Studio drivers. Then there's Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, there's 32 GB, 3200 MHz RAM and 1 TB PCIe Gen 3 SSD. Now do note that both RAM and storage are in two slots, so they can be upgraded. Anyway, the Ryzen 9 plus 3070 combo is powerful and the laptop handles all of the creative workflows with a lot of ease. Now we mostly tested it for photo editing and 4K video editing and the performance was top notch. In fact, to give you a better idea, we ran the budget bench benchmarks. In the Photoshop test, the Studiobook 16 was absolutely brilliant, scoring a total of 995 with the max temperature only hitting 36 degrees Celsius. Now this is very good because 1000 is the reference top score. In the Premiere Pro test, which adds multiple sequences with 4K and 8K videos, the overall score was 678, which is also pretty good. I mean, it does not beat full-fledged PCs with 3080s, but this is good. We also converted a 12-minute 6GB 4K 60fps video to 1080p 30fps using Handbrake, and the Ryzen 9 did that in 5 minutes. See, the point is the Studiobook 16 OLED brings the performance that creators actually need, and just to be clear, you can game on it. I mean, we played Far Cry 6 and the performance was good, so you can do that. I mean, gaming on 1080p and 2K was extremely smooth and we got 100 plus and 60 plus frames respectively. Also, one thing to note is that we did not face any thermal issues or thermal throttling in this laptop. In a lot of these benchmark tests, the laptop CPU went to 80 degrees Celsius, but the fans in this laptop kept things under control. The Studiobook 16 comes with ASUS's iSchool Pro cooling system, which has 102 aerofoil blade fans, six heat pipes with seven intelligent sensors, and it can go up to 140 watts, 50 for the CPU and 90 for the GPU. Now the cooling system is good here because I did not feel any overheating in the usual suspects like the keyboard or the palm rest, you know. Now as for the fan noise, it's not a problem even in the performance mode, but it does get pretty loud when it's in the full speed mode. So yeah, the performance is good. And as far as the software, the laptop comes with the new Windows 11 Pro on board. And it has a few apps pre-installed like McAfee, MyAsus, and the Pro Art Creator Hub, which is actually useful. It brings this nice dashboard that lets you monitor performance, set the fan profile, color calibrate the display, create task groups, etc. On the battery front, the Studiobook 16 OLED packs a 90 watt hour four cell battery with a big 240 watt AC adapter in the box. Now with the use case this laptop has, it should be probably hooked to power all the time. But if you do want to use this on battery, you'll get around six to seven hours of battery life, which is decent. Now I think I've covered pretty much everything there is in the ASUS Pro Art Studiobook 16 OLED. And I think you will agree when I say that this is probably one of the best laptops for creators in the Windows ecosystem. I mean, it brings so many cool features for creators. See the 4K OLED display is absolutely stunning, incredibly color accurate. The ASUS dial is a fantastic addition for creators and this is a laptop that brings a performance you expect from a high-end premium laptop. Now everything else about this laptop is top-notch to be the very cool trackpad with three buttons, the keyboard, the thermal performance or the design. Now coming to the price, the ASUS Pro Art Studiobook 16 OLED starts at Rs. 1,69,990 and the model we have is priced at Rs. 2,19,990. Now obviously it's a premium price tag for a premium laptop aimed at creators. But I want to know what you guys think of this laptop. Do you think it makes sense for creators? Let us know in the comment section below. Also give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. But that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.